night, babe Tears running down my cheek Went to bed last night, babe With tears running down my cheek Got to thinking about my baby I was crying in my sleep Good morning, good morning. I am delighted to see so many people out today on a rather dreary day. So I certainly welcome you all. I'm Nancy Eiler. I'm president of the Tawnytown Heritage and Museum Association. And uh, it's my privilege and pleasure to uh, welcome you to our grand opening today. I, uh, I guess I really could reword that a little bit and call it a grand reopening because as many of you know we were opened uptown uh, we opened in um, 2004 and uh, with the chamber of commerce who also had their office and a visitor center in that building we were in the old tawny town bank building for about eight years so after we lost our uh, lease in that building we began to look for another spot to go and while we were looking in the process of looking around for another location the tawny town heritage committee which had been in uh had, was established i think in 1986 and the uh, tawny town museum committee realized they had a lot of a lot of common interests and had a lot of goals in common and so those two organizations merged. And that's how we were, how you, we arrived at the Tawny Town Heritage and Museum Association. So we are just delighted to be able to welcome you to our new museum today. Um, we're a nonprofit organization. We have a 501c3, and all of our uh, staff, workers, are all volunteers, so it's an all-volunteer organization. Um, our, our museum here is actually managed by the museum committee of that organization, and Carol Hahn is museum chairman, so I'm going to introduce you to Carol Hahn, who will be your master of ceremonies today. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Um, it's been a while coming, it's been a lot of hard work, and we're here. Maybe it's a little bit loud. Now, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, we have the Carroll Media Center uh, shooting the video today. Uh, they, you will be able to view that on their site, carrollmediacenter.org. Um, I want to make some thank yous to the uh, City of Tawnytown uh, for use of their building for so many years. Uh, facilitating us through the process of changing this from a residential uh, property to the museum. And also some of the utility guys for the heavy moving that we had to do with Mason Dixon Stone is rather heavy and so is the switchboard from the Cambridge Rubber Company. Um, I want to thank New Windsor State Bank who's always been very supportive of us. They let us have the holiday trees there. Uh, that will be coming up in December. We want to thank all the people that decorate trees, uh, put the gift certificates on, and it's a big fundraiser for us. Point Town Chamber of Commerce, I'll uh, talk a little bit about that later, but uh, they've been very supportive and been a very gracious uh, donator of funds. Uh, you have the bulletin, and there's a lot of businesses on there. Please use those businesses when you can. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about there is volunteers. Uh, anyone that would like to volunteer as a docent, um, come in and do some work, we have landscaping, please see one of our members. Uh, some of us have green shirts on, some of us have name tags on, so just stop by and see, see one of us. Um, the other fundraiser we have, since we are, we do not receive tax dollars from the city of Tonytown. They're very helpful, we do not receive tax dollars. So we have to do fundraisers. The other big one that's coming up is our golf tournament on September the 16th. Um, about this property, 
we're, I want to lead this up a little bit because we have a Hudson car over the other side of the driveway. This property was owned, was bought by Grace Flegel, Martin, and Mary Coons in 1920. Mr. Coons was a mechanic. He opened a service, a car service shop, probably farm machinery too, up the street where the plumber is and where Krauss Ford later uh, was located. Um, the car that we have in the driveway was actually sold by Martin Coons. It was delivered by mistake to the Hudson dealership in New Windsor. Mr. Coons put a dealer tag on the green car, took it to New Windsor, picked up the blue car and brought it back. Thanks to Mr. Lewis Mendenhall from Gamber for bringing the car up today. He owns the car. He also has the dealer tag that Mr. Coons used to take that car over to New Windsor, the other car to New Windsor. This wouldn't have happened without the vision of two men back in the, around the beginning of 2003. Uh, Mr. George Naylor, who is here with us today, and the late Mr. George B. Krause. They had a vision that the, 20, the city of Tony Town and the surrounding area had a lot of rich history, and it should be preserved and presented. They went. They were members of the Chamber of Commerce. They went to the Chamber and convinced them of the idea. The Chamber set up a committee to study it and look into it and help fund the very first beginning of the museum. So that is how it got started, and we want to thank uh, Mr. Naylor and the late Mr. Krauss. I guess at this point I'll introduce our guest. I have Mr. State Commissioner Wance. We have Mayor McCarran, and we have Mr. George Naylor. Commissioner, do you have a, any comments you'd like to make? So I've been keeping my sunglasses on because, as the mayor said, it's the power of positive thinking, okay? Uh, I'm hopeful that the sun will come out at some point, but I can tell you that there's a lot shining on this building today, and I congratulate everybody that's been involved. History is a wonderful thing, and if you don't have folks that get together and preserve it in some way, you lose it, and that's really bad. So uh, I think it's a great thing that you've put this together, and I, again, congratulate all of you. I've got a lot of history here in this town myself. Um, got a mom and dad that worked at Cambridge Rubber Company. I see a lot of folks nodding that um, they probably worked with them. Got a great grandfather who was the first uh, station manager here for the railroad. I've got a grandfather who worked at the Model Steam Bakery. So um, history is very important to me, especially in this area. With everything that's going on in the world today, if we don't keep the memories alive, we've got some real issues. So I encourage all of you to do public outreach to make sure folks know that this is here. If we can get young people involved, bring them here and show them what Tawny Town used to be so that they can, can see where it's come from, I think that's critically important. So again, it's chilly out here. I had an hour speech, but I just cut it down to about five. Um, congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to the town of Tawny Town, Mr. Mayor and the town council for making this happen, to the chamber, from the humble beginnings up on uh, where you were before to this is really, really priceless. So congratulations to all of you. Have a great day, and I'm gonna be back to see a lot more of this as you add to your collections. So congratulations, folks. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, Mr. Mayor, would you like to make a few comments? I know you had a little preview this week. We grabbed Jim when he's walking across the parking lot from voting on Tuesday and gave him a little pre preview of what was inside. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Carol and, and Nancy, for that preview. It really was special. I was coming back from voting and I saw Carol getting out of the truck, coming in the museum, thought I'd take advantage of getting a little preview. It really was a, a special treat, and I thank you for doing that. And what a great day this is. What a tremendous day in Tawny Town. You know, here we are 
Uh, we're so we're so fortunate to be part of a community like we are. It's that you have no idea how happy I am just to be here and share this day with you to help reopen one of the help reopen one of the, the treasures of, of I have to scoot down a little bit. Apparently, people can't hear the treasures we have in our town. You know it. The Tawny Town Historical Museum is, is, is a gem. It's a gem for everybody that's involved in this town and the surrounding areas to take advantage of. It's been a long and somewhat expensive journey to move from the downtown location to this fine new facility. Maybe only a few blocks distance-wise, but miles and miles when we consider the time and the effort and the blood and the sweat and the tears that have gone into creating what we have here today. The accomplishments of these, all the dedicated individuals that spent hours in committee meetings and planning sessions to help overcome roadblocks and hurdles that were placed in their path are mind-boggling. This goes to show what this goes to show what can be accomplished when everybody works together for a common goal and with a determination and desire uh, for the common good. All of those who have been a part of bringing this day about should be congratulated. Today, spend some time taking a look around these halls. Consider all the talents that made us who we are today as a community. Explore the clockmakers and the gunsmiths, the manufacturers and the canners, the farmers and the teachers, all those who make this part of Maryland such a special place. What an amazing place this is. It's a lasting and fulfilling memorial to all the men and women who have worked so hard to bring us to this day. We have a treasure that will assure our children and our grandchildren a place to learn about the rich heritage that is our community. We have a showcase to honor our forebears. We have a place to recall the days, yes, even before our, our nation was founded. Let me turn my page here before I remember what I got here. Before our country's formation, the historic and talented individuals that share the same characteristics as those who unselfishly gave themselves to bring us to this morning. Let us never forget to celebrate our heritage. Let us never forget to celebrate our accomplishments. You know, one of the things I do with the Tawny Town Record when I write my mayor's column each month is highlight a piece of Tawny Town's history by asking the school-aged children to answer a question about our history. And it's amazing how quickly the responses come in and how eager the kids are to be the first to email with the correct answer. And I always bring the winners into City Hall, take their picture, let them sit in the mayor's chair and present them with a gift card. But one thing I also do is I ask them a question. I ask them, how did you come up with your answer? And most often I get the response, oh, mom and dad helped or grandma or granddad helped. And that's what this place is all about. It's generations sharing with generations. And another thing I frequently mention in my column that's important, and that's the contributions that the volunteers make to the day-to-day -day functions of this town. We all have a stake in our community. We all have a stake in our children's welfare. And we repeatedly give of ourselves to make our community special to make it the special place that it is. I mention this because the museum's work is not over. In fact, it has just begun. Considering, consider a gift to the museum today. Consider some time spent as a volunteer. I think you'll be glad you did, and thank you for allowing me to be part of this day. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. I want to thank someone that I missed in the beginning, uh, Nancy Auer and our exhibit committee. They have practically been living here for the last couple of weeks. Um, we had a slow process getting all the permits and getting the museum open, and then all of a sudden it hit us. 
we have all the permits we can open now we've got to put it together so they have brack just about been living here every time i come to town some of the exhibit committee and volunteers are here working and they will continue to be working um, we'll soon cut the ribbon at Old museum um, it is a some things will be here almost all the time and other things rotate through we borrow the exhibit committee meets every once in a while, decides on what would be of interest to the city and to the people that come here, and then they go about rounding up the artifacts that, that make the exhibit complete. Uh, we own very few things, we don't have a lot of room, so we borrow things, and we're very thankful to the people that loan us these things. So I think now we'll have Mr. Naylor come over. Like to make a few comments, George. It was in the year of uh, 2003 that an idea was born that it might be nice if Tony Town would have a historical museum. No one knew anything about museums, how to manage, how to get one going. So after a year of homework, in 2004, in August of 2004, a museum was opened uptown, the first. No one but volunteers were there. We had no paid help. And today, everything is handled by volunteers. It's great to be a part of what has happened since 2004 when the door opened for the first time. Isn't this a, a wonderful site for another museum to open up, the same museum to open up a second time? So uh, I think it's really great that Tony Town has a new asset in the form of a museum. There's only one museum better than this one, and that's in Washington, the Smithsonian. <laughs> And uh, uh, we're, we're proud that we're second in uh, museums. Thanks for coming. And uh, like I said, we need help. Don't be afraid to volunteer. You want somebody to hold one side? This thing, this whole one side. <laughs> this is the best part of the whole thing. <laughs> we have a little presentation presentation for George. We have the key to the Tony Town History Museum. We're presenting to Mr. George Naylor, Chairman Emeritus of the museum. Isn't that nice? See the hoodie women fixing up their monkey men. Early one morning, how about the crack of day? It was early one morning. It'll go about the crack of day. Cried I seen that fella when he stole my babe away. Nancy Eiler. I'm the president of the Tawny Town Heritage and Museum Association. I'm a volunteer. I actually am a retired dental hygienist and uh, I spend a lot of time here in the museum. I'm also the exhibit chair chairman for the museum committee. So um, I spend even more time here, it seems like. My favorite part 
of helping out with the History Museum is the fact that we're able to preserve and present the history of Tony Town. Uh, I have grown, I grew up in Tony Town area, been here all my life, and I am very proud that the museum is able to find those things that um, that have been around Tony Town for a long, long time. Things that I never even knew about until I became involved with the History Museum, which was about five years ago. Well, the first hurdle was funding. Uh, when we lost the lease uptown, uh, we had a very small treasury. Um, without the help of an anonymous donor that donated the money to buy this property, we would have been, we've not been able to do this. Um, the rest of the things uh, were challenges, but we had a lot of people that helped us. The city of Tonytown, obviously there's ordinances. This was a residence. Uh, we became a commercial uh, property. So we had to go through the Board of Appeals process, but the town helped us and facilitated everything that, and helped us along. Uh, we did not uh, bypass any ordinances, but they helped us through the, the um, ordinance situation. We have a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of new things in our exhibit when we opened here. Um, I think one of my favorites is still the Tawnytown High School exhibit. I graduated from Tawnytown a long time ago. And uh, there's just a lot of things, a lot of memories that come back there. We also have some very interesting things done by the uh, Tawnytown Craftsman, which was the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, and uh, the gunsmith, the guns that are downstairs are certainly very interesting. So I enjoy that era too. Our museum is really a, a, aimed at all age groups and we, we do view it as a multi-generational thing. It's very interesting for grandparents to come and talk to their grandchildren about things they remember. Uh, we're open on Fridays from 10 to 1, and on Saturday and Sunday from 1 to 4. Uh, we also are glad to open by appointment. If you have a family or a group that would like to come at a different time, please give us a call. We'll be glad to uh, work a, a range of time that works for everybody. Mm -hmm.